In this Helix Minute, we'll show you how to connect a Helix family device to a standalone power amp and passive speaker cabinet. Start with the Helix unit and power amp turned off. Run out of the left mono Helix output to the input of the power amp and set the EQs flat and the power amp volume set to the lowest setting. Choose line level if your power amp has this option. Connect your power amp to your passive speaker with a quality speaker cable and ensure the impedance is matched correctly. Power Helix on and connect your instrument. Press Menu, then press Knob 6 for global settings. Use Knobs 2 and 3 to ensure the outputs are set to Line. Turn the Helix volume to 100%. Start playing your instrument and make sure any peak lights are not turning red if the power amp has these. If this occurs, turn the Helix volume down until the overload light is no longer illuminating. Once you have signal from Helix into the speaker, you can turn the power amp up to whatever volume the situation calls for. If you are not using a flat response speaker system, you may have better results turning off the Helix device's speaker and mic modeling. If you are using a preset with separate amp and cab blocks, you can remove the cab blocks to hear only the amp modeling and effects without the additional coloring of the cab and mic modeling. If you are using a preset with an amp plus cab block, you can copy paste the amp plus cab block to path 2. Go to the amp plus cab block in path 1, press the joystick and navigate the category menu to the amp block. Select the same amp, then mirror the amp settings from path 2. If you have stereo effects in your signal chain, you can add a second cabinet if your power amp supports this. Go out of the Helix right output to another power amp input and follow the same procedure. That's all for this Helix Minute. For more in-depth videos, check out line6.com. And thanks for watching.